Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or if you are new then hi my name is Kate. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I get this makeup look. This is my go to kind of like full face but it's not a full face look in the summer so when it is really really hot and you don't really want to be wearing like a heavy base you want it to be really light and natural this is what I go for. So I'm actually not wearing any foundation at the moment and my skin just feels like skin and also if I look, go up close it also looks like skin like it's not cake. It's very natural, which is what we want, especially in the summer. This has been my go-to makeup look during these hot times that we're in. To be honest, I haven't actually been wearing a lot of makeup recently because obviously we are in lockdown. But when I want to like shoot pics or just look a bit more glam, then this is what I've been going for. And I just find that it lasts all day long and I don't really need to touch it up at all. So yeah, if you'd like to know how to get this makeup look, then keep on watching. Okay, so I have done my skincare routine and I always think the key to a good bed is good skincare your skin needs to be nice and nourished and ready to apply your face so I'm not gonna do skincare but I do want to just mention these two products here because I think they sent these to me two weeks ago and I've noticed a huge difference and I kind of find that is rare for me to notice a difference in my skin or like a large difference anyway so first up is the Murad vitamin C glycolic is that what it is glycolic brightening serum and I heard amazing things about this for like pigmentation and I don't know if you can see but I actually have some pigmentation sort of like here around the edge of my mouth and obviously when the sun is out it brings it out a little bit more and this has completely pretty much gotten rid of the pigmentation and it makes your skin feel really lovely as well and then this is their dark circle corrector and again with eye creams I always use eye creams just because I always think it's better to prevent eye bags and stuff like that rather than correcting them so I've always just used it kind of um, as a preventative and then I tried this and I've noticed and again I've noticed a huge difference um, with the bags under my eyes and the darkness as well and I've never had that from an eye cream before so I'm really really impressed with this product yeah I just wanted to put those, that in there because um I love giving you guys recommendations. So for my base today, I'm going to go in a super light and moisturizing base. But I'm gonna give you guys two other options as well, just in case you want like a heavier coverage, but still nice and lightweight on the skin. The one I'm gonna be using today is my moisturizer. Again, this is the Murad Vitamin C moisturizer, and it has SPF. 30 in it and obviously on a day where it's really hot and sunny well actually any day even if it's cloudy you need to be wearing spf um and then i mix this in with my drunk elephant anti-pollution sunshine drops and yeah this is literally like sunshine in a bottle as you can see my face is a lot paler to my body because i'm always really highly covered in spf and this is just like getting a tan on your face with obviously out the damage which is perfect it also has anti-pollution which is great if you're living in london like me so i'll mix these two together if you do want slightly more coverage then i would use the charlotte hill root flawless filter um what i really love about this product is that you can use it as a highlight you can use it as a base primer or you can kind of use it as a foundation so it's super versatile it is very like dewy and shiny though so you will have to set this quite well and then option number three Three. sorry guys I'm like really rambling here it's the Armani Luminous Silk this is obviously a foundation so it has more coverage um, and more of like a colour to it if that makes sense and I wear the shade 6.25 so my hands are obviously clean I always make sure my hands are really thoroughly clean before um, doing my makeup and I also avoid touching my phone when I'm doing my makeup or I just give my phone a good wipe beforehand because obviously there's a lot of germs on your phone the sunshine drops on my moisturiser mix them in and then literally just go in like this as you can see it just gives you instant color to the face and my face is actually now a lot darker than my um neck but it's fine you can just keep on blending it in Perfect, so all it does is just give you colour, there's no coverage to it at all. So then the places that I do want to have coverage, I'm going to go in with concealer. So if you have any spots, dark circles, pigmentation, um, yeah, concealer is the answer. I'm going to use my favourite, which is the Rimmel Lasting Radiance Concealer. I always talk about it, so you guys obviously know that I like it. But it's got like a good coverage, and I'm going to use a viewfinder, I hope that's not annoying. It's got good coverage, it's really lightweight, it doesn't feel like you're wearing much and it doesn't cake, it doesn't crease. I've tried so many concealers and really expensive ones and this is just my favourite because yeah, it just does everything you want a concealer to do. So yeah, I'm going to put this under my eyes where I get a bit of dark circles and just down the bridge of my nose. So because I use my hands to rub in my base, I'm just going to use my fingers to blend this in. 
but if I wasn't using my hands, I would be using this brush here, which is the Zoeva concealer brush. Um, yeah, super easy to blend. It's quite good as well if you leave it for like a minute or so just to sit on the skin and this gives it a slightly higher coverage but if you don't want to do that then it is still good coverage. I'm now going to go in with my bronzer, my Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel. Um, it really annoys me how gross these get, like I always get loads of um, like hair in it and stuff and I don't really know how to prevent that. Um, but I think it's just like hair and fluff from the brushes to be honest. I just swirl it round and then bronze up sort of the way you would want to contour so on the cheekbones forehead neck and I like to do a bit on my nose just because it kind of gives you that sun-kissed look I'm definitely more into cream products when um, it's summer I just find it's a lot more easy to blend and it's just slightly less cakey I guess this brush oh hello are we in focus yeah so this brush is a girls with attitude brush. I don't know if you guys remember this brand, but I remember when I was younger, I used to go into Primark and get all of their stuff, but um, their brushes are actually really good and they've got a pretty marble base as well, which is nice. For blush, I'm using my, oh, just threw that into myself. <laughs> For blush, I'm using my iconic sheer blush in the shade Powder Pink. And it looks very bright and very scary, but once you blend it, it's just such a gorgeous natural color. You literally use the tiniest bit and then I pop it onto apples of my cheeks and then we blend again using the fingers and I like to blend right up here because I just think that looks really natural and very pretty I think it looks a little bit crazy on camera but in real life it doesn't I promise <laughs> and then anything that's left on my fingers I'll just put on my nose because again kind of looks like you've just been in the sun which isn't what we want okay and then even though we're going for this really like dewy natural glow I do still like to set it with powder just because it is literally 26 degrees outside and it's just gonna kind of slide off your face unless you set it so when I'm going for like a higher coverage look I've been loving the Charlotte Tilbury um, airbrush flawless finish this is literally like an airbrush on your skin but it does have coverage to it so I'm gonna go for my Laura Mercier translucent powder instead because this is a lot more lightweight natural looking and yeah it doesn't really add another layer to your face whereas I feel like this does but nonetheless I do love this to apply the powder I'm going to use my MAC what is this um 129 brush and it's kind of like this flat powder brush and then I just press this lightly into my skin am I focused I think I am um the other day on my Instagram I asked you guys would you prefer to be in lockdown in the summer or winter and quite a lot of people said winter which i was really surprised about i actually feel so grateful to be locked in <laughs> during the summer because we can go on lovely long walks and when the sun is shining everyone is just so much happier I just feel like if we were locked in during the winter it would just be cold and miserable going on walks wouldn't be enjoyable yeah i literally set my entire face um focusing on the t-zone which is obviously where you do get a bit more shiny well i do anyway and once this translucent powder was on it just looks like skin and yeah looking in the mirror right now you literally can't tell that there's any product on the skin it looks very very natural which is why i do love this product so much should i zoom you guys in a bit that might actually help and also what i really like is that it doesn't completely mattify your skin like there is still a little bit of a glow the brows i'm going to use the bare minerals brow master in the shade coco what i love about this is it's a very cool toned product so it looks very, very natural. I actually find that all bare minerals makeup looks very natural, which I love. So I literally just follow the shape of my brow. And you can be kind of messy because it's quite forgiving. I've had my microbladed eyebrows now for over a year and I still absolutely love them. I go to a lovely brow artist called Kitty. She lives in Southampton. I literally traveled three hours to get these done because her work is just amazing. And yeah, even after a year, they're still great. And it just makes like filling in your eyebrows so much easier because there is a shape there already. And I know some people think that, what's the point if you're gonna fill them in anyway, but I wanted to go for something really natural. So when I wear makeup, I like them to be a little bit more dramatic. Another thing she did with my eyebrows was she put, she made this eyebrow a little bit higher than this one because this is the eyebrow that I tend to like move up and down as you can see. So it kind of evens them out, if that makes sense. 
Okay, now for my eyes. I'm gonna go in with this um, Kabuki brush by Stigma, Sigma, sorry. Um, and then my Chanel bronzer again, and I just kind of like put this in the crease just to give my eyes a little bit of colour. So as always, I keep my eye makeup basically the same and I just do a tiny little flick at the end and then put on mascara. So I'm gonna go into my Barrier and Brow Kit, this shade here, and then this is a Zoeva 317 wing liner brush. And I do it right at the outer third of my eye. Can you guys see? Also, I've been using this um, eyelash serum for the last month and it is insane. I think I've spoken about it a couple of times on my stories and my Instagram. Um, oh, I just poked myself right in the eye. Oh. But yeah, it's insane. You'll see when I put my mascara on, but basically these lashes here now touch my eyebrow when I relax my eyebrow and then look up. You can't really see because they haven't got any tint on them, but they do touch my eyebrows now, which is just crazy. Being noticed the other day, she was like, wow, the eyelashes have grown so much. For some reason though, this side of my lashes hasn't done as well, but I think it's because I sleep on this side. Okay, so any product that is left on the brush, I'm now just going to flick out to make a wing. I just love this look. I just think it makes your eyelashes look so much better and it kind of just gives you like a bit of an extension to your eyes, I guess. Next up is mascara. For mascara, I've been using the Marc Jacobs at Lash Mascara. So I actually did a campaign with them on my Instagram for the launch of this mascara. When I found out that they had chosen me for the campaign, I did a little happy dance. I was actually so thrilled to be working for them because it's just such an amazing brand and, and I've always been a fan of them. This mascara, no joke, is the best mascara I've ever used. So when I first tried it, because I always obviously like to try the um, products before the campaign starts, I literally messaged my manager and I was like, oh my god, this mascara is insane. It's just so easy to apply, it doesn't clunk. Clunk, that's not a word, is it? Clump, clump, it doesn't clump. Um, yeah, it's just brilliant. It makes eyelashes long and thick. I find that mascaras normally do one or the other, like they're either really um, volumini voluminizing. Wow, I can't talk today. They're either really volumizing or they're really lengthening and it's kind of hard to get one that does both, but this one does. So yeah, look at the difference. That is insane. My camera's about to run out of memory. This I hear, the lashes aren't quite as long. So it's a little bit more of a struggle. So what you do is you apply it from the root to the tip. I just blink like this. And then you use the end just to kind of define each lash. Another thing is I'm always so messy with my lashes normally, but I'm not as messy with this mascara, so that's a bonus. It means I don't have to tidy up as much on my eyelids afterwards. Look at that, it is insane. Okay, and then I do a tiny bit on my bottom lashes as well, but not a lot. So to set my makeup, recently I've been going between two different setting sprays. First one is the iconic London Prep Set Glow. Look at this, you shake it. I've already showed you this actually, haven't I? I think I showed it to you on a vlog. Um, and it does this, amazing. Um, but I'm not gonna use this today because like I said, it is so hot. So I think my makeup is going to naturally get a very good glow. So I'm going to not use this today. I'm just gonna use my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. This is so refreshing and it sets your makeup really well into place. Um, yeah, I just love it. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> that really reminds me of being on holiday for some reason. You know when they like spray the um, like water all over the place? Like you're sitting at a restaurant and you suddenly just feel like a nice mist on you. This is what it's like. I'm gonna go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Iconic Nude. This is the perfect nude colour. It literally matches my lips really well. So, if you guys didn't already know, I did a giveaway of a £100 Selfridges voucher on my last video. Um, because I reached 50k on YouTube and yeah I wanted to give something back to you guys to say thank you and yeah I just said in the video leave your Instagram down below to enter 
and I wasn't expecting everyone to leave, leave their Instagram and also really nice comments. So I've got like at the moment, I think I uploaded it last night and there's like 200 amazing, amazing, like lovely comments. And oh my God, my eyes are watering. Why do I always get so emotional? Um, yeah, I just can't express to you guys how much it means to me that you guys really do love my channel and, and my content. So yeah, I feel really bad though. I feel like I need to do another prize because I want to give everyone something. So I might do some like running up prizes maybe of like, my favourite makeup products. Yeah, should I do that actually? Okay, yeah, I'll I'll do two running up prizes of my favourite makeup products. So I could do like the Drunk Elephant Sunshine Drops, um, a Laura Mercier powder, a Charlotte Tilbury powder. Okay, yeah. Anyway, if you want to enter, go on to my last video and all the details are there. Anyway, so sidetracked. The um, lip gloss I'm going to use is the Il Maquillage in PDA. I love the applicator for this, it's really, really soft. Lovely. Take my hair down. Oh, I just ripped out a chunk of my hair there. That's nice. So I'm not gonna go in with any highlight product because like I said, it's just too hot for that. And I think like within an hour or so of being in the sun, I'm just gonna get a natural a sweat highlighter. So yeah, I'm kind of keeping it quite matte for now. So yeah, this is the finished makeup look. I wanna say really natural, but I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder, it doesn't actually look that natural. Um, but the base is very natural and very lightweight. Literally, you can touch my face and it doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything. And it's just what you want when it's really hot like this. And another thing is this makeup will last me all day. Hi guys, future Kate here. It is now, I think it's about seven in the evening. So this makeup has been on like nine hours now. I haven't touched up once and this is how it's looking. I've also been on a huge walk around London um, and yeah, I haven't topped it up. And, and yeah, sorry, I've been looking at myself in the viewfinder. Um, yeah, it's still going strong as you can see. But yeah, this has been my go-to this week where it's just been super, super hot and I've been loving it. So I hope you guys love it too. Make sure you go enter my giveaway. I love you all so, so, so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Mwah.